Hey guys, it's Brian with Elyon Design Solutions. Welcome back. This morning, or this evening, or depending on whatever it is, wherever you're at, we're going to create a 3D image in AutoCAD where basically what you're doing is you're creating a 3D object and then you're applying an image over top of it similar to what you see in front of you with my logo and uh, as you see here if I rotate no matter where I rotate it's it's there and you can use this in a in a bunch of different ways uh, you can uh, you can uh, except if you had a photo in a in a I don't know a, a 3d model you were working on and you had a photo and you're just trying to create a realistic um, environment you can take something like this just find a photo and then basically imprint the photo into into your materials manager and you'll in turn have a you'll have a, a neat little uh, way to spice up your presentation I've done some with uh, photos. I did one. I did a background where I had a uh, the TV was playing uh, when I where I rented it. And if I see if I can find that real quick, um, do do do. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 3D rooms I've done. Um, uh, here, well, here's a computer. Okay, this is a good one actually. Uh, here's a computer uh, that I room that I, I rendered out, um, and you can see here where we where I placed in a just a drawing. I just copied an image and pasted it in there, so it looks like the image is actually being projected from this 3D computer. And uh, so that, that, like I said, this is just one way you can spice your your presentation up and actually this one has two of these in this uh, uh, file so I did my background looking through a window and then I have the computer projecting a, a scene as well so like I said it really spices up your, uh, uh, your presentation and these they don't have to be on flat surfaces they can be on curved surfaces and uh, some sometimes it looks really really sharp when you if you do it right so anyway we're just going to get the basics in on how to do that so let's get started first thing we need to do is uh, let's just create a 3d object it's just going to take a little bit of uh, tweaking to get it quite right but once you get it you can apply uh, you can apply your material so if we if I just say something like a use this block real quick and then say 0 0.065 so basically we just got this 3d object and I can say um, <clears throat> we can uh, apply the materials to that and again guys please pay attention to the command line here uh, if I like I said if I neglect to tell you something uh, it should show up here uh, again we have our modeling tab here we got our zoom tab or toolbar or zoom toolbar our views toolbar um, I think that's what we have view and then dimension and then your visual styles um, these are primarily the, primarily the ones that I use on a regular basis when I'm doing 3d modeling uh, so occasionally I'll dive into something else or use something else but um, um, I know you guys can't really see the, these over here these are it's your draw order but not really used too much on 3d stuff but anyway so what you can do is we got this drawn and then we can match properties just to show you that it's actually a property now it's an element so M A enter Let's see these match properties select this guy and then that guy now what you can do if it's a little bit big uh, um, and this is exactly the size you want you can actually uh, you know cut this off slice it if we need to um, but we'll do that later 
um, if the other one doesn't turn out the way we want it or if it goes to stretch and it doesn't turn out right. So we'll just undo that. So what we're going to do is open up. I just did that to show you that you can quickly copy stuff. Um, so open our materials manager. So M A T E R. Bam. Now, what we're going to do is come down here where that little circle or sphere, um, and click on that, and let's go new generic material. Okay, so we've already got one in here, but this is our second one. Uh, so what we can do? Oh, oh, oh! What am I doing? Let's bring this guy. On the wall. All right. I couldn't see that. Some something's up with my screen here, but anyway. So let me just slide that. So what we can do is kind of go up with it. And what we can do is you can choose your uh, scene, um, whether or not it's a you know what kind of object it is. Uh, here, I think we're just going to do it as a. I don't know. Let's just make it a canvas, okay? And then here, if you if you select here, should give you an option to load the photo. Okay, so I just got it on my desktop. I I went earlier and just picked a photo really quick. I think it's this guy right here because it wasn't saved. Aha! Uh -huh, see? Yep. It's already already starting to. Already starting to do it, and see when by doing that, it automatically pulled up this text texture editor up here. Uh, you can really get deep into this. You can add, you know, a lot of texture bump mapping. You can add, uh, you know, I think self illumination. Um, but we're not really going to get into any of that on this one, just because it's it's a little bit deeper. This is just to get you up and running to fit, just to show you you can do this and it can you can uh, uh, have a, an image wrapped around a, some text because it took me forever to figure this out I, I I couldn't I didn't see a really good any good videos I, I had to basically cannibalize a bunch of different videos to figure out how to do this because you know one guy would tell you this or that and then another you know a girl or, or whoever you know she'd go over this and another individual would do this and um, it, it was just really broken up so I'm trying to uh, splice all that together for you best I can anyway without mucking it up but so we got that going now what you can do here um, let's just say yeah, so we got that in there that the size see it, it's kind of weird looking there so I'm, I'm just gonna get out of this right now and I'm just gonna drag it over there and this is the how I like to do it now this coincidentally turned out just to be fine and so you basically we're done to a certain degree now this logo that I brought in here this logo I brought in here came in like really tiled in uh, so you know if, it, if, that, if that doesn't if it comes in really weird just mess with some of the uh, mess with some of the settings so for instance to do to do to do if we click that I just click the image area um, if if it comes in and it's all tiled and it's really weird uh, you, just, you know you can say none or you know I don't even know what this does none I don't think it's going to do anything for us because it kind of came in good uh, but if if it was tiled, which I think is defaulted that way, uh, you're also it's you're gonna have to play with this this one number at a time. It, both of these will always be the same, unless y'all can tell me something else. Uh, it always because when I do this, see how they're both changing. This is how you can fit it onto your respected object you're trying to get it on. See how it's starting to tile out? So if your object was really small or whatever, um, it, it'll be tiled. So you're going to have to change the aspect, the scale of it here to 
<clears throat> fit your uh, fit your object. So we can just bring that guy to where it's scaling. And let, let's just say that it came in like this, guys. Because, to be honest with you, most of the time, they're going to come in like that. For the most part, we're done with the materials manager for right now. So we just close that out. So what you can do is let's bring everything big again. So we can look at it top view because I'm just drawing this on the top view. Yes, that looks a little stretched, but um, no. anyway, what we can do is cut or slice the areas. If we if we just having a hard time, if you're having a hard time getting this thing to fit in the area you want or whatever, you can slice it. S L. Select your object right about there. Erase that top piece. Slice it. And that's actually what I did with my logo over there. I just was, you know, say I couldn't get it to do without spending an inordinate amount of time on it. I couldn't get it to do what I wanted, so I just trimmed it up. And you can do that. Uh, and uh, because these are actual surface materials now, and uh, it, you can add that to any other object. So if we go to another view here, <clears throat> and we we'll say we can let's just draw a couple different ones so you guys can see what they look like. We'll draw a torus. We'll draw a cylinder. We'll draw. Know, let's draw a pyramid. I don't know. So let's see what these guys look like. So you can, you can just you really easily uh, apply these to whatever. Um, uh, to M A for match properties. And just bam, bam, bam. So it will wrap around that. So I think the video I looked at originally, um, they did a Coke can and they, they copied a Coke label. Um, uh, you could do Pepsi, or you could do what whatever your drink you like, or you can just do water. I mean, I don't know, um, but you know, you can really easily add um, name brand labels to stuff by just copying. If you if you if you're able to copy their logo and then you put it into whatever, or, or if you're nervous about copyright infringement, which I do not encourage. Um, uh, by the way, uh, you know, if you you, know, you could create your own little logo on something and pop it in on a, a little drink bottle or a, a label on anything, and uh, really, really just spices your presentation up. Um, that's about it, guys. But just to show you before we go, I'm gonna render this out, and you can see it renders nicely. I mean, you don't have to really do anything special with it now you can add lights and stuff and like I said you can add self illumination to these which is actually kind of neat because if using these as, as a backdrop in any of your photos like looking through a window like say if this was a window and you're looking through and you saw this you can actually add illumination to it and I believe it should add some additional uh, shadowing in the the drawing which um, again that's more realistic uh, and uh, really spices your presentation up. But I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, give me some comments. If you uh, guys, um, my phone's ringing over here. Just give me some comments, and I'll uh, try to uh, incorporate what you guys say. Thanks.